Hey guys, what's up? It's Tennybox here, and welcome to a new indie game called Coffee Talk. Well, I say new, it's like, I think a month old, I think, at this point. I've been scouring through indie game websites, looking for a plethora of games for me to play with you guys. Since my internet is trash, I really can't be downloading 300 gigabyte games. You, nah, that's kind of an over-exaggeration. But I really can't be, buy, you know, <laughs> installing huge files, so I'm sticking to playing a lot of indie games on the channel recently. And here we have Coffee Talk. I don't know much about this game other than the description of it, which basically makes you like a, a barista in a coffee shop talking to people about their woes. Ex my, my name, the numbers, Mason. Uh, let's see, my name. Oh, I can't type my name. Um, is this going to have enough flitters? I didn't count. Uh, I don't see an I. I. N. T. E. N. The name's Quentin. That's actually my real life name. Yes, it is. I don't know if he's my mouse. Seattle, 2020. 20 years after the end of the world and prophecy was proven wrong. <laughs> I love how it was about to go to the, a really dark place. And then it was like, proven wrong. A time when the big war between the races is only a footnote in history. A time when anyone can dream of being whatever they want to be. And have those dreams crushed without even getting the chance to... I don't know. <laughs> and have those dreams crushed without even being... If, even... Oh my god, my dialogue. Even getting the chance to be discussed. But still, it is a place. It is a place. <laughs> what is wrong with me? But still, it is a place in time where anything can happen. It is when the elves have left the forest to build their startups. When the dwarves have emerged from their caves and started their automotive empires. When the orcs have put down their axes and used computers to forward their lives. And when humans live among them just like we've always known. It is a city that holds the many dreams and stories of its people. Most of those stories are left untold, but some few find solace in the embrace of bricks and wood and closed doors. I'm just going to skip the slow Carl so I can actually know what they're saying next, so I don't know if it's a question. They are spoken over drinks before taking up residence in some stranger's memories. In one corner of the city stands a cafe, a place that is only open when the sun is sleeping, a place where people share their stories. And these are their stories. Boom, boom! Thursday, Thursday, October 1st, 2020. I'm excited for this. I forgot that it, I forgot that there was a description of it saying, like, it's set in kind of like a fantasy world with dwarves and elves and orcs. Oh my god, I'm actually excited for this. What? Welcome. Oh, it's you. Kawaii, kawaii, somebody sure is a weeaboo. Sorry, Mrs. Adventures of Skooks reference. Anyways, continuing onward. Hot Pops, how's the night so far? It's calm as usual. We've got a slight problem, though. Eh, what happened? The store where I usually get my ingredients made some log logist logical, logistical errors, so I didn't get most of the ingredients I usually use to make my drinks. Man, that's a bummer. It is, but don't worry. I still have the ingredients I need to make that coffee you need. <laughs> that's nice to hear. It would be pretty silly to open your coffee shop if you couldn't even serve a simple espresso. <laughs> Can't argue with that. Oh my god, my voice is... Anyway, let me set things up first. You're the first customer on a really bad day for the cafe. Don't worry, take your time. I'm a writer, not an editor, so I'm used on... Um, so I'm used... Used? Used on taking things slow? Okay. Real slow. Heh, <laughs> writer's block again. Who's got us? This is me. You got that right. Are you working on another big scoop? Or is this about your plan to write that big work of fiction? It's the ladder. Ah, uh, the machine is ready. Pardon the interruption, but do you want your triple shot espresso now? Yes, please. I really need that triple shot espresso. Okay. Oh, sweet Jesus. I don't know the first thing about brewing anything. Base? Wait, am I supposed to brew? It's brew, right? Oh, sweet Jesus. What do I do here? I don't really need that triple... Oh, I have to grind it. Oh, no. Wait, you need coffee? Oh, duck. Cocoa, tea. Oh, wait, so. 
Oh, sweet Jesus. Coffee, I'm assuming, is the ingredient the base. What else goes in espresso? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I don't drink coffee, so I don't know these things. I'm gonna brew it without anything else. I sure, I'm sure I'm wrong. Oh my god, I didn't realize that I was going to have to. Is there like a... That style, is there like an ingredients book? Oh my god, is there really not? We're about to have like some really, I don't, I seriously have never like seriously drank, co I've drank it, drunk, co drank coffee before, but it's, I've never really finished one, like, you know, I don't, I don't, the only hot, the only coffee I've ever finished was, I remember when my grandpa, I think was in the hospital, probably close to 10 years ago, and I had like the, like the nurse station or whatever, that coffee. And it was good, because I put, like, a bunch of, like, creamer in it or something, but... F it. No. Dar oh, God. What is with these games giving me anxiety? I'm gonna look up a Joe for my only customer tonight. Hmm, it smells good. I hope it's espresso. This is a good coffee. Not exactly what I wanted, but still good. <laughs> I knew it! I knew it wasn't just that. I'm such an idiot. Anywhere, where were we? Oh, wait, wrong list. Anyway, where were we? You were about to tell me your plan regarding fiction on it, writing fiction on a big scale. <sighs> yes, that. It's not that I hate writing short stories for the newspaper, you know, but it seems like it's the right time for me to challenge myself a bit more. That's good. F that's good for you. <laughs> Sounds good in theory, but when you start to really do it, that's when re reality hits hard. Well, I mean, that's to be expected. At least you still have your job to support you while you're writing a novel in your free time. <laughs> Guilty. It did. did I say something wrong? <laughs> Marta! No, you were right. You said what I should have done. Or you said what I should have done instead of taking the path I'm on now. And that path is... You know, how the newspaper I work for is owned by the biggest book publisher in the country, right? Yes. Well, I asked my chief for the support... Or for the support... For the opportunity to focus on writing the novel. What do you mean by opportunity? Well... Basically, I asked him to give me paid leave so I can write the novel for our publisher. Uh... Oh, this is really awkward. Come on, don't give me that look. Are you for real? Yeah, yeah, I know. It was such a stupid thing to ask. And how did your boss react? He challenged me. He said if I can't get the initial draft ready in a month, then my weekly target for news will be heavily reduced so I can focus on the novel. And he'll push the fiction publishing division ahead to prove to approve my novel for publishing. Although I still need to submit daily short stories too. Good God, my voices are hard to do. That's not bad, considering you'll get the opportunity to be published by the biggest publisher here. What if you fail? Wow, what an a-hole. He won't forbid me from working on the novel. But I, st I will still have the crazy workload of a journalist, and I will lose the chance to be published by them. Ouch. Well, at least you got a month to finish the initial draft. That was last week. <laughs> Again, don't give me that look. Oh my god, this lady's literally me, except for unemployed. Or, I'm unemployed, you know what I mean. Because college, don't worry, I'm okay. <laughs> no, you've got three weeks to finish it. How far along are you? Uh, <laughs> guilty. Goofy style. I assume the number of words you have written is not too far from zero. Hey, that's rude. I've written some stuff, you know. God, this lady is me. May I see it? Um, well, it was so bad that, well, to the point that I just deleted everything immediately after reading it. God, this is me. So, zero... Yes. I really need to finish it in at, most, in at most two weeks. Then I'll use the extra week to polish and do some editing. Sounds like a plan. If you pull it off well. I know, I know. You don't need to be so cynical about it. That's why I'm here today. I'm hoping to find some inspiration. I wrote some of the short stories I'm the most proud of here, you know. Really? Glad this place could be of service. Well, hopefully, if she gets some inspiration, she can write a story about a screenwriter struggling to make it in L.A. She goes to a coffee shop in this absolute mongoloid, doesn't know how to make espresso. Oh, it looks like someone's coming. <laughs> that guy looks on the street, looks like a girl, whoever. That shadow figure looks like they're about to mug us. Or he looks like he has his hand in his pocket, but to whip out a pistol and kill me. You know what I mean? Welcome. Hi there. <laughs> Hello. Good evening. For here, miss? Yes, please. I'm not really sure what to order, though. We're gonna have, like, a southern vibe? I don't know. What do you recommend? 
That depends. Highlander mood. I'm just here to meet a friend, and I'm not planning to be awake all night. So def def definitely, definitely no coffee. How about chocolate? It'll be perfect for this weather. That's a good idea, actually. Thank you. You're welcome. Wait. You're welcome. God, I can't do two different women voices. I can't do women voices at all, actually. I'm stuck at all of them. A cup of hot chocolate, please. Okay, hot chocolate I can make. Maybe. Uh, cocoa. Cocoa. Oh, wait. I didn't mean to do both of them. Wait, reset. Base? Uh, what do you mean ba- Oh my god, I don't know how coffee works. So I'm assuming cocoa first. What are these other things? Cinnamon, actually, I do put hot chocolate- Cinnamon in hot chocolate. So I would say, yeah, out of all these I'd put cinnamon in. Cinnamon in? Cinnamon in. Cinnamon in. Cocoa, cinnamon, cocoa. How about- No, cause- Well- I don't... Uh... Okay, let's do... Coco, Coco, Cinnamon. Let's do that. I'm feeling a little bit more confident in this, because that's basically all I drink is out of the hot coffee groups. I drink hot chocolate. Like, Cinnamon Coco. Technically not what she asked for, so... I was thinking, like, let's just trash that, because we're just gonna do Coco then, straight up. Just all three Coco. We're gonna Coco the crap out of her, boys. And girls, like, I don't, I, I thought cinnamon's pretty good with it, but it apparently makes it cinnamon cocoa. Cocoa! Want a couple hot chocolate ready? Thank you! I adore this art style, like, I seriously do. Like, if you give me another, like, visual novel, if, it's, if this developer, if you're listening to this, if you make another visual novel in S game with, like, a, I don't know, e like, even the most simplistic things, like, librarian simulator or something, something like this, this is awesome, I love this. So far, at least. I'm, I, I'm not finished yet. Mm, it's so warm. So, are you waiting for a friend? Yes, he should be here soon. Look at you now. You've gone from not having anyone to three customers in one night. <laughs> I thought this place was more crowded considering it's the only cafe open after midnight around here. Because it's the only cafe that only... <laughs> because it... God, my voice is... Because it's the only cafe that's open after midnight, it's mostly empty. Now that you mentioned it, is it good for business having the cafe only open at night? <laughs> Definitely not. Wow, they're, they're pissing me off. Yep, as she said, then why? I just love doing it. And there's always someone longing for a warm drink at this hour. That's fascinating. Pardon me for asking, but how can you survive running the cafe in this situation? It sounds like Herbert the Pervert. Oh my god. Or, uh... Oh my, yeah, Herbert the Pervert. Well, that's a secret. Quentin here is damn rich. That's the secret. Oh, really? She's exaggerating. Besides, I live in the cafe, so I'm saving a lot by not having to worry about accommodation costs. Don't worry so much, hmm? Oh, wait, no. Don't worry so much, hmm? Or, uh, I don't even know what I'm reading. Don't worry so much about him. He can manage. And I'm sure the cafe won't close down anytime soon, so you'll, have to s you'll still have a weird calm place to meet up at night. That's good to hear. Yeah, she's her- Lua's her, Herbert the Pervert, and green hair girl Lucy or something. By the way, it seems like you're a regular here. Freya is gonna be like regular girl voice. I don't- what does regular girl voice even mean? I don't know really have any- I- I can't do voices and read, apparently. I haven't found any things out about myself I didn't know. I don't really have anywhere else to go. I'm a writer that works well at night and in the cafe. There's not many- there's not so many options for that accommodation, right? Ah, no wonder. <laughs> what is this? She's a pretty good writer, you know. You can find some of her stories in the Evening Whisper. Shut up! No, really. Wow, that's interesting. What kind of things do you cover? Anything, but... <clears throat> anything, but mostly I cover the interesting stories from people all around the town. She also writes the daily short stories in the paper. You really can't shut up tonight, can you? I love their fiction. You wrote those stories? <laughs> Thank you. I wrote most of them, but not all. That's so cool. Cool? <laughs> then are you here to write a new piece? I should be. But I don't even know what to write about right now. Ugh, someone's coming. This game is... fun? I'm, I apologize if it's not like the normal thing that I usually do. This is for a different audience, but I'm glad to play it. Welcome. Hi. <sighs> 
Sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. I had a nice trip to find folks here. Hi there. Wait. Hello. Hi, would you like to order something? Hmm. Surprise me. What kind of an order is that? Well, I really don't know what to order. Do you have any preferences, sir? <clears throat> something bitter that can keep me awake, but add some milk to it. <laughs> Why do I love voicing this guy, Bailey's? <laughs> something bitter? I don't know. Tea can be... Eh. Let's do tea... Tay with, like... I don't know. Lemon? Oh, tea with double lemon. Oh, my God. I'm not a big tea guy. I'm, I'm a, I, kind of, I, like, I like iced tea. Not like straight up tea, though. Is this gonna be like... Lemon tea? That that counts, right? I don't know. I don't like drink all these hot drinks other than hot chocolate, so I'm not even sure like the palate or anything. I apologize. Here's your order. Hmm. I know I was too vague with my order, but I did specifically mention milk, right? Did he really? You're right. Let me fix that for you. Oh, I pissed him off. Okay. Tea? Mil we're gonna tea, you, tea and milk and lemon. This guy is going to shoot us in the face. Or, if at the very least, throw the tea at my head. Milk, lemon, tea. This is an actual thing. I didn't know that was a thing. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to question it. Here's your, here's your order. Hmm. This is better. <laughs> Anyways, I was distracted by some work. Plus, there's the rain. I know, Bailey's. It's okay. As I told you, I was having a nice chat with them. Oh yeah, I haven't properly introduced myself. I'm Bailey's. Is that plural? Oh, where are my manners? I haven't introduced myself either. My name is Lua. I can tell by your name tag. Hi, I'm Freya. I'm Quentin. Hey, did you know Miss Freya here is right for the evening whisper? Oh really? I did some work for them a few times before. Hey, what kind of work? I'm a freelance designer and illustrator. I need some character caricatures and infographics for the paper. I assume you were in contact with Steve? Yep, he's a nice guy to work with. <laughs> oh, really? Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> no, he isn't. <laughs> but I've dealt with worse clients. Way worse. Yeah, I'm glad he's in the design and visuals department. I wouldn't be able to stand working with him directly. Ah, <laughs> come on, he's tough to deal with, but definitely not the worst. Well, of course, there's something... There's always another hell beneath even the deepest hell. How does that even work? Shut up, I'm sure you've dealt with bad customers before. The only bad customers this late at night are, are lost drunkards or criminals. That sounds really bad. Nah, they're easy to handle. He's good with his fists. Not as good as he is with his coffee, though. Screw you! Thank you for the compliment. You're welcome. Anyway, I really need to start writing. Uh, whatever it is that I will write. So I will leave you two in the hands of this man. Papa, where are, you, where are you going to write? Oh, not far. Just over at that table in the corner there next to the windows. That's my spot. Calm down, Sheldon. Okay. O okay, have fun. <laughs> I'll try. Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> Her voice just... Should we move to the other seats, too? Nah, here's good. Okay, then. So how was your day? <laughs> It was fine. Work was nothing special. I finished my proposal on time, so my boss didn't keep me at the office late. Plus, I think he was in really good mood all day. I thought your boss is always a happy-go-lucky person. Why are you doing this guy's voice, but it's amazing? Well, he is. But today was pretty special. I'm not sure what's happening, but it was great seeing him so happy. What about you? Any problems with your latest client? Yeah, this one's a pain in the ass. You know how they always depict really bad clients on memes? Well, she fits all the bills. <laughs> I could go on forever complaining about her. And <laughs> then turning my voice to his voice. But that won't help me a bit. <laughs> why not just... Why not just make a meme about her then? And lose my current project for a minute of laughter? <laughs> Actually, that might be worth it though. <laughs> <laughs> you just squinting over there, over here, about how to deal with annoying clients. Oh yeah, how do you usually deal with annoying cl customers? Clusters? The ones... <laughs> the ones that don't need your fist to take care of. I do have my own methods, and every single customer has to be dealt with differently. But it wouldn't be wise to talk about customers to other customers. 
Now that's one good lesson to learn for the day. Good. God knows I might be describing your parents without realizing it. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Dot, 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 dot. Uh, did I say something wrong? Oh. Oh no! It's, it's okay. It won't be okay for us, though. Dot, dot, dot. So you talked to them? I did. It didn't end well? No. What did they say? A lot. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. <coughs> they won't give us a chance at all? <laughs> dot, dot, dot. No, dot, dot, dot. How about you? It's the same. I got into a fight with my old man. That's why I'm staying at Farron's house starting tonight. They kicked you out? You don't have to cause yourself this kind of problem, you know. They're your family. I can't even stay one more second living under the same roof with them. I can't do this voice anymore, man. I mean, I might not have a stable income, but I can manage all the freelance jobs. <laughs> Still. You don't know what they said about you last night? I'm sorry. What do they say about me? What about my race, I assume? Forget it. I want to know. Just the same old shit. Mumbling auto elves are holy creatures about our immort immortality, about even if I, how even if I outlive you. What? Nothing. About how if you outlive me, no other elves would want to be an elf. Be with an elf that's already been tainted by a lowly succubus. Da da da. That's exactly what they said. So this is it then? The end of our relationship? It doesn't have to be. You know our families will never agree, and I'll never be able to leave them. We can just continue like this. Or we can just con <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> they just don't they don't need to know that we're still there. I can't do this. I don't have water up here. We just continue the way we've always been without them knowing. And then what? We're not like humans, you know. I know some human couples get their families consent because they get too old and the family just gives up, but we're not human. We won't die of natural causes. Lua, I don't care about their permission. But I do. Do you want to be this kind of relationship for the rest of eternity? I get to spend it with you. I don't mind. I don't mind a bit. You're making this hard for both of us. Do you love me? I feel like turning Australian all of a sudden. I do. Do you feel happy when you're with me? That's this is awful. I can't do that. Of course I do. Then you don't need any more reasons. You know we are a perfect match for each other. You don't even need to look deep down. Trust me, we can do this together. I can't even think about this clearly right now. We'll talk later. Oh, wait. I'm sorry I had to listen to our problems. Dot, dot, dot. That's alright. This cafe has witnessed many kinds of stories. I do hope yours will have a happy ending. <sighs> I hope so too. Do you have alcohol? Sadly, no. That's a bummer. Well, do you have anything that can warm and calm me down? You like green tea latte? lattes? Lattes? Lattes. I can't say latte. Lat lattes. Green tea. I swear I'm dehydrated after that entire thing. Green tea lattes. I'll take one. Okay. I'm going on a limb here. A limb. A limb. And just saying. Oh, I can only have one of the same prime. Oh, interesting. I didn't. Okay. That makes sense. Uh, he's a green tea, right? Would that be mint and lemon? Or would that be two mints? Let's find out. Oh, he said, he said latte, so that's coffee. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Wait, right? I don't understand what's happening. Le let's do lemon and then that. We're gonna try to brew some stuff, guys. I don't know how to... We're making coffee together today. That's lemon milk tea. Uh, mint tea. Oh, I forgot you could add milk. What did he say again? Milk tea? What did he say? Green tea latte. Okay. This has got to be it, right? Milk mint tea. Green tea latte. This. This. And this. I don't know. It's probably not going to be... It's a tea in it, so I'd probably put tea in it, I'm assuming. I'm just playing with the options at this point. Milk mint... Is this really mocha? This is matcha? I don't know what that is. Okay, so tea, and then let's put ginger, lemon, 
cinnamon and then milk. This is gonna be terrible. I don't know what I'm making. I apologize. I swear, I'm intelligent. I just don't know anything about co <clears throat> coffee and tea and all that. Cinnamon milk tea. Green tea latte. So tea, green, milk. What would latte? Do you, they use milk to make latte? I'm pretty sure. What's this? You know what? That's as close as you're getting. Oh my god, there's recipes! Are you kidding me? What? How much of this game do. What? Wait a second. What? France wins World Cup for the, for, for the second time ever. Wait, no, 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 go back to that. Social media. Wait. Freya. Contributor for the Evening Whisperer. Knows the brisket for some time already. Likes coffee a lot. Lua. Businesswoman. Respects her native culture. Woman. Chocolate latte. That's what she ordered. Loves Lua. Cappuccino and green tea. Latte elf. Oh, so this lady is... Wait, come back, come back. What, what brace is she? Is she just a regular woman? I thought she was like an alien or something. She had pink on her head, I thought. Never mind. You know what? I don't, I don't know. Music. I'm not going to mess with this stuff because I don't know about copyright. There's already music playing, so I'm already kind of scared. Here's your order. Here's your order. So the weirdest green latte, tea latte I've ever had. I'm going to make my day any worse, though. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me make another one for you. No need. I'm fine with this. By the way, are you married? Me? No. Do you have someone you love? I love my family and I love this cafe. But I'm sure that's not the answer you're looking for. <clears throat> I don't really have any ex expectations for your answer. Man, of all creatures in the world, why did I need to fall for her? You can't choose who you love, man. You can if you try hard enough. At least that's what my old man said. He really said that? Yeah, he's one weird elf. But I guess all my kind are weird. Weird, pretentious, and mortal douchebags. At least you can have an eternity to learn and change. Or an eternity to be an eternal asshole. Anyway, I need to go now, and probably drink myself under until the sun rises. <clears throat> There's still a while until sunrise. More time for me to drink, then. See you around. See you around, too, Miss Freya. <clears throat> Thank you. Do visit again. Whoa, hello! You were listening from the corner? Yes. Poor souls. I hope they find their way together soon. Me too. Anyway, I need to leave. I have to get up earlier than usual tomorrow. Okay. I think I'm going to close the shop up after this. That's pretty early. I know. Tomorrow, once my ingredients all arrive, I will open as usual. Okay then. Have a nice rest, old man. You too. Is this like a one day thing? Is this might be an entire let's play? If I I doubt I think this is the only day. Wait, there's more days? Are you kidding me? Wait, are you serious? Is there actually free charge Seattle groceries distribution problem? Harm local restaurants. Werewolf activists in prison for owning illegal drugs. <laughs> Cats are the best creatures on earth. The researcher said. Indonesia appointed the first female orc president in the world. Rap group, street orchestra, question for their pro-terrorism songs. The Evening Whispers. Is this, is this the end? Oh god! I clicked on What do I do? Somebody come oh, hello, you again. Good evening, Pops. Good gracious. What's wrong with you? Can't you just enter like a normal customer? I'm sorry. I'm so excited to share something with you. What are you talking about? I know what to write for my novel. Is it one of your uh, one of your impulsive temporary ideas again? Hey, don't be rude. I'm being serious here. Okay, okay, okay. Just tell me what are you going to write about? This cafe. What? I'm going to write. So oh my god! I called it 20 minutes ago. I'm going to write stories about this cafe and the people who come in here. Are you for real? Yes. What if I say you can't do that? I'm not asking permission. That's like a breach of the customer's personal lives, you know. <clears throat> Relax. I know that. I've seen inspirations from this place. The stories themselves will be loosely based on what I hear and see here. How loosely based? Blade Runner novel versus movie level loosely based. The old one? Of course I'm talking about the old one. Hmm. That means really that means really different, you know? Or do you want me to make it like the fanatics interpretation versus actual holy? Text level of loosely based. Shut up. 
I mean, it's not like I can say no to something you can work on, right? No, you can't. Although, you could simply forbid me from bringing my laptop or notebook here. I won't do that. Thank you. Anyway, uh, it seems like someone's coming. I wonder what kind of stories they have. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what sort of stories will fill the room tonight. To be continued. Okay, I was kind of scared that we are going to play through a bunch of other dialogue and my throat would explode. That was a really fun game, and I apologize for the idiocracy, the idiocy of my ignorance, ignor ignorism, <laughs> ignorism. I I apologize for me being ignorant on the um, the different coffee types and tea. I don't drink those things, so I apologize how I'm ignorant on like you know how to make it and stuff like that. Literally, the only time I've ever made coffee is from the Keurig, when they have the, like the packets of it. It's not actually me making it from scratch. So I've never been a barista. I've never studied anything about being a barista or anything like that. This is my first time ever kind of making coffee and it's from a video game. So clearly I was destined to fail, but I think that this is a pretty good story. It was only based on a day and it's to be continued. I could honestly see this game becoming like a big hit. Seeing like different kind of like visual novels um, spread out <clears throat> with different characters. And I even kind of predicted the fact that she was going to write the stories based on the things. Which is kind of cool that I actually did that in a joking manner. But it actually ended up being true. I would totally recommend you go download this game. Obviously, it's going to probably be close to the same of what I did. I don't know if there are multiple endings to this game based on how stupidly I created the drinks. And I'm sure that this video will come to haunt me down later in life when I am asked or hiring myself or asking to be hired as a barista in a coffee place. This video will come up and question and I'll never get the job. Um, but, yeah, this game was a ton of fun, and I strongly recommend you go download it, uh, donate to the creator and stuff like that. I don't know how long the, uh, development cycle is in this game, like, I don't know how long, how long this game's been out, and I don't know if the second part is out yet, but if it is out, and then when it does come out, if they do make another part to it, then I will definitely have to either, A, if they release on Steam as a purchase thing, I'll definitely go buy it, and I will make a let's play on it or whatever. Or if it's just another indie thing, then I will totally play that either way. Because I had a lot of fun in this game, even though it made me look like an idiot in, I'm sure, a lot of ways. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Keep calm and trust your instincts. And if you want more indie games, commentaries, or just let's play videos in general, stay tuned and subscribe and like the video and stuff like that. And you'll, you'll get more of that stuff. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Peace out.